live stream we're going to be making at least one part of this chair here this is a chair that was made in the 1960s by a company called Aircol. if that's how you pronounce it probably not either way we're going to be making the backrest which is one of the few pieces of the chair that i'm not going to be turning on the lathe which is behind me this fella is going to be carved out of this block of beach here so the first thing i need to do is actually scribe the shape of it onto here so uh, I suppose I'll do that now hey here we have all the people starting to rock on into the comment section how are you guys keeping so yeah this will probably be another half an hour maybe a bit longer stream I doubt I'll actually get the job done but it's you know it's a good chance to catch up I had to miss last week's live stream there was a death in the family unfortunately so um, yeah I wasn't available but we're back now and uh, we're just gonna keep on keeping on I suppose right so um, not sure what the best way to do this is but I think I'm gonna start by pulling this vice out there we go. then maybe going like this and then maybe going like that is that gonna work for us hi Lucy you must have heard the camera turning on. Desperate for attention, you, huh? Right, so I have it held against here and I'm just gonna use my pencil to scribe that line. How are you keeping, huh? She hasn't come into the garage in ages. And now that we're live streaming again, she's back. Right. Ta-da! Here we have it. So yeah, the process for this is just, I guess, cut it away slowly with a hand plane. Uh, I don't see any reason why that shouldn't work, so let's lock this fella back in. Actually, would it be smart, I wonder, to do the inside the outside first? Yeah, I don't think it'll make a difference, and I will pay for my consequences afterwards. If it entirely goes tits up, I'll just get a new piece of beach. So it's not the end of the world. Never had a Shinto rasp, no. I've had rasps like these, which would be very good for the job, actually, now that you mention it. But this is made by Stanley, and I don't think it's that good. I've used a Shinto rasp. I used to, but well, I'm still doing carving classes. I just haven't been in a while. And the lady that does that, she has ones that I use. But, um, no, I was going to buy one one time, but it had a plastic handle, and I'm very fussy. I like my handles wooden. Ah. Uh. I should try a video with only power tools. I would, but I don't have a whole pile of power tools. And we have a donation. Thank you very much, PB. Appreciate it. You left no comment, though. Now what am I going to read? Right, let's, uh, let's go find a hand plane. Let's have a big step around the very messy garage. What are you doing? Ah, oh, look what she's after doing. She's after picking a piece of linseed tissue. Uh, and she's ripping it up outside. Class. Can dogs eat linseed oil? Probably not. Lucy, you've had worse, haven't you? Hair? Well, do you know what? Maybe I'd be better off doing this with a saw first. It's a lot of material just to be removing with just a hand plane, do you know? So I think I'm going to try that. Scribe out a nice straight line and we're gonna cut it. It's the risky thing about doing all these things the first time on live stream. You're vocalizing your mistakes and putting it out there on the internet. But you look, that's how you learn. That's how I'm learning at least. Cool, that's one line scribed. That's another line scribed. You don't really need a whole pile of money and space to be getting into carpentry. Um, that's kind of why I started with the hand tools, it was because I didn't have money or space. The shirt is fire. Thank you. Normally, all my shirts are from a second hand shop, and so is this one. But this shirt, normally they're like four euro, 
for a checkered shirt. This was like 15, but I had to have it, you know? So I'm glad you like it. Am I coming to Antrim many times soon? I don't think so. I might be, but uh, no, not, not to my, not to my recent calendar. I don't think so. Did I get a new phone? I actually, um, yeah, I ran over my old phone with a steam engine. So 13 tons of, actually I'll show you the phone because I have it here. Uh, basically I ran over my phone. It was a month and a half old and I spent a load of money on it. And um, it's pretty sad. So I reached out to a local like uh, a phone mobile carrier in Ireland called Three. I was like, can you send me a phone? And they did, but in exchange I had to do a video. So. That was a few months ago now, and it's only like last week I sent them the video. And uh, yeah, they put it out, and I didn't know they were gonna use it as an ad, like on TikTok. So like, uh, I had friends message me like, why are you coming up on my uh, TikTok as, a, as an ad? But yeah, that's why. So yeah, they sent me out a new phone. This was an iPhone 13. We're now using an iPhone 11, which is a shame because the camera quality is a bit of a downgrade, but you look, that's what you get. I can't be having nice things if I'm going to be driving over them with heavy machinery from another century. We have another donation from Esther Curley. Thank you very much. Please do more of these. I try to go live every Sunday. So uh, hopefully we can stick at it. You don't have space for a workbench device. You gotta, okay. Maybe I'll do another video on uh, green woodworking techniques because you, you need even less woodworking tools for that. All right, now where's that saw of mine? I'll be back. All right, we'll down our tea first. Don't we be getting sawdust in it? <sighs> Lovely. Now we cut. Thank you very much, Glenn Mickey MCB. Thank you very much. A member and all. How do I take my tea? Just um, milk, no sugar. Working up a sweat here, lads. I'm not using a vintage saw at the minute because I've been too lazy to sharpen them all. I think uh, one of the only sharp saws I have in the shop at the minute is my dovetail saw here, which I restored recently and loved bits. But um, ideally I'd be using a rip saw like this, or Groves and Sons saw from the 1800s. But um, the teeth are dull and I just, I have a lot going on at the minute. I don't have time for sharpening. Uh, hello, Chloe, thank you very much. Um, I still need to visit Costa. I hate being in town. I think I was in Cork City yesterday, was I? I was, but it was late at night. Costa would have been land closed. There was a Roses of Tralee thing going on. They were picking out the, the cork rose. So I was doing a bit of photography at that. you buying pints for $22? I don't know, maybe Temple Bar. How do I manage to not cut my fingers off? To be honest, lads, I'm on a slippery slope now where I'm using more and more power tools. And my fingers are in grave danger. 
I've just about managed to keep them. I cut them several times a week with just hand tools. Because I'm fairly absent-minded, so I don't know, maybe I should ease back on the power tools a small bit. But, um, yeah, let's see. I should do a video while I have them so I can make a reference for when I inevitably lose one of them. God forbid. Touch wood, huh? That square isn't looking square at all. How much did I spend on all my tools? I think I was telling, I, I have no exact number, but I'd say, I'd imagine i am gone past the five figure range at this stage. Like I counted like about, about a year ago, I think, and it was something like six grand. So I surely spent four grand more than you think. Oh, I don't know though, maybe it's less than 10 grand. They're investment sleds, you know? I can sell them on if I ever need to. If you spend money on clothes, drink, food, that money is gone. Spend your money on things that have value. Oh, I actually made a pretty uh, mad purchase there over the week, actually. Um, I bought a, a Honda C, or, yeah, a Honda C70 from 1981. So it's like a, hello, Lucy. It's a, a 70s, no, stop. She's after taking another piece of paper. I'm not bringing you to the vet. Anyway, uh, yeah, I bought a, uh, a 1981 Honda 70, which is like a vintage, you know, little motorcycle. Uh, I don't have a license to drive it yet, but I'm doing my uh, lessons next month, and then, you know, I'll be grand, I'll be good to go. And there's a, there's a group of us riding them from Mizzenhead all the way up to Malinhead, so the entire length of the country, 600 kilometres in one day. We're starting at 4 o'clock. And we're just going to keep on going. And it's a, it's a Honda 50 run, so all vintage bikes. And I'm really looking forward to it. Right, we have two donations in there now. I'll be making a video about that soon enough. I'm really excited to share it. But I can't legally drive it yet, so I don't want to be posting myself breaking the law online. From Chicago, next cup of tea is on me. I tell you, lad, you get a lot of cups of tea for 10 euro. Thank you very much, though. Jack, 000 percentage percentage. Now we have a Trandon, Trandon, I'm probably pronouncing your name wrong. What currency is that? S-E-K. I love your channel. Found an old axe head um, that, thanks to you, I'll make a new handle for. Thanks for the inspiration. Soundman, send me a... Um, when, you, when you put handles on it, put a, send me a video or a photo or an email. I love seeing all that stuff. Lachlan, thank you very much for sending nine pounds sterling. Thank you very much. And you sent a, a gif of a cat doing this. What tea is my favorite? That's, uh, that's, I think, that's the one question I've gotten every single live stream I've ever done when I'm drinking tea. Uh, I say Barry's, but I'm fairly sure um, it's just a knockoff, cheap, Aldi shite. But uh, I drink so much of it anyway, uh, premium stuff would be wasted on me. I'd be bankrupting my family. Right. I, I brought this downstairs because I thought I'd get the chance to use it. It's a compass plane, so you twist this and you adjust the, the curvature of the sole. So I was thinking I'd use it to kind of go like, you know, match the curve. But um, I think... I won't have time on this live stream. We're halfway there. Okay, that's that's the goal for this live stream. To use this on this. Okay, we have another donation in there from PB. Oh, thank you very much. It's good to see you again. Uh, put this towards my fuel. Be careful on your motorcycle, please. I will. It's only a 70cc. So I think anything more powerful, I'll, uh, I'll damage myself. And by the sounds of it, $20 will be enough to 
get me the whole length of the country in it. Maybe even home. I'm lucky I'm down in Cork, so I don't have to go too far to get to the starting point. Did I build my own workbench? I did. I wish I had more photos. It was, um, myself and my dad built it years ago. Um, and it was like a real nice father-son project for us. And looking back, all the like techniques and methods we used were stupid and we did everything wrong, but it was still fun, you know, and it works. I'm using it right now. It's a bit wonky. I have wedges keeping it from shaking about the place, but um, no, it's a shame. I got this uh, hardwood countertop that was lying around in my um, grandmother's shed and I, I had my eye on it for a while and eventually I, I took it away and I think this whole bench cost me like 50 euro. Obviously the vice then was about a hundred and something euros. Tell us about your everyday life. Well, it's kind of up in the air at the minute. I'm not really in college, um, because I took a year off. Um, I don't really have a job because um, I'm making a living off doing this stuff, thank God. Um, so every day is kind of different. Um, now, um, this morning I woke up and I I went to Bandon Agricultural Show. Now, um, I thought this would be like, you know, vintage cars, vintage tractors. There might be an auto jumble with some, you know, old tools I could buy and restore. Now, this was just a few cattle, a few horses prancing about the place, showing off. And then a load of shops selling tacky shite. So probably a waste of 10 euro, but um, I got up, I did that. Then I drove halfway up the country to get a lathe, which you guys can check out on my latest TikTok. Um, then I used it um, to make a video where I made a piece of wood for a chair. I made a stretcher for a chair. Um, then I edited that video, um, came downstairs, and now I'm going live streaming. I'll probably go back inside, maybe watch an episode of The Boys. I'm on the second season. I'm loving that. Um, then I go to bed. and Tomorrow I'll wake up and... I actually don't know yet. I'll decide while I'm falling asleep tonight. And then hopefully when I wake up, I'll remember. Ooh, um, you found a tenant saw that was belonging to your grandfather. How do you restore it? Um... I think I actually have an entire video where I restore a tenant saw. If I can refer you to that. Scroll down, I think it's, it's nearly six months old at this stage. Same plane as my old woodworking class. Yeah, the number fives are very popular with woodworking classes. This is a 605, so it's a bedrock version. Um, slightly more desirable in the way you can adjust the frog without taking it off. But uh, don't worry about it, it's basically the same plane. Same plane, but it's uh, for some reason these are far more expensive. Every hand tool in Ireland is you pay a premium. You Americans are lucky. Um, yeah, and the likes looking through eBay, some very nice hand tools available at eye-watering prices. But when you factor in the cost of like customs and postage to Ireland, it's, it's hardly ever worthwhile. Have I been to any countries outside of Ireland? I've been to a few. Uh, been to England, Scotland and Wales once, um, France, Germany, Italy, Spain and Portugal. I think that's it, but I think that's an impressive list. What's my bedtime? Normally around midnight I try to go to bed.
Yeah, that's a, it's very good to have a yeah it's a comment here. Um, talking about buying. Um, shut up, Lucy. Talking about buying uh, things that increase in value. I collect old books. I don't know why. Just something about them is very satisfying. Yeah, brilliant. I love meeting people that have like obscure things they like to collect. A fellow I work with a lot, he collects um, vintage bicycle magazines. That's his thing, you know. The problem with buying stuff like that, I found like I say, oh, I'm going to buy this hand plane because, you know, it's going to go up in value. I'm never going to sell it. I'm going to just hold on to it until I lose it or my house burns down. But in theory, you know, it's all net worth, isn't it? Um, KJ O'Donnell, uh, 511, uh, thank you for your donation. Thank you very much. Do you pistol grips? Um, do I do pistol grips? Um, or are you talking about pistol grips, like, for saws? Like, this would be considered a pistol grip saw handle, because, you know... Shaving uphill against the grain, which is a woodworking sin, if anyone's wondering. Okay, trying to get books from pre-1830, because before that, large-scale printing wasn't really a proper thing. Uh, so books from before then are extremely rare. Very interesting. I think we're getting there, lads. We're getting there. Look, we're nearly down to the line on that side. We'll see how out of square we are though. We're not too bad. Okay, we're pretty bad. Great, Oliver Kay. Yeah, that's what we're doing here at the minute, working on that chair. It's a shame they didn't teach girls woodworking in school. I think it was an option for the girls in my school. It just seems to be like, uh, I don't know. Girls just never, it was an option. It just seems not many girls did it. I think there was like one or two girls in our woodworking classes. I wasn't even in the woodworking classes. I was to do business or science. Um, but then again, on the other hand, you had like maybe one or two lads who did home economics. So I guess, you know, institutionalized sexism. No, you do not. But even if you stay, you can do all this stuff in your own free time. There's no one stopping you. Do 
I speak Irish? Irish, not very well, no. I've downloaded Duolingo, I just haven't, you know, opened the app yet. Glenn again. You can buy a few pints and meat pie with the other 20 lal. Last name is Mac Bratney, just so you know. Well, thank you very much then. Um, Glenn Mac Bratney. It's appreciated. Oh, well, lads, we're working up a sweat here, I'm telling you. It's times like this, I wish I could take the hat off. What's my favorite carpentry tool? I'm a sucker for hand planes. Um, there's so much, many of them. Um, they're very collectible. They're cool. There's a lot going on. Like a lot of hand tools are just like um, an edge and then a handle. Um, but no, these planes got moving parts. See how square that is. Yeah, square enough for me. Just go a small bit more to be sure, to be sure. And we might even get this done in half an hour. Oh, another donation in there from William Walker. We give that a read. Uh, you may, ha you may haven't seen this, um, but for the pistol grip, I meant for a gun. Uh, in Gradville, they teach us at public schools. They teach woodworking. So they teach you how to do, um, how to make a wooden pistol grip handle. Is that what you mean? Yeah, it's a touchy subject, doing guns. In Ireland, we don't have any sort of gun culture. It's pretty much illegal to, you know, hold any gun. Mostly the only people that keep them are farmers, and I think you're only allowed to use a shotgun or something like that. There's no rifles or pistols or anything fancy like that. Um, but also, any time you mention it or... And a, or anything like that in a TikTok or a YouTube short, you kind of get blacklisted for a while. Or shadow banned. So I get offered the whole time, um, people looking for me to restore, um, like the, what is it, the boss of a shotgun, the wooden part, or a rifle or something like that. But uh, no, I, uh, fortunately I have to re refuse those. Right lads, I'm just going to go for it. Our goal here is to match the curve, which I've already done a pretty class job at. All the while, keeping her nice and square. Don't know how well you guys can see this, but yeah, that's not square at all. It's not flat at least. So we'll, uh, we'll try to fix that. I haven't sharpened this fella in a while, so hopefully still has a bit of edge. Thank you very much, Audrey Starlight. We said WD-40. 
thought we could have one whole stream without mentioning it, but you know, have to read out the donations live. Okay, we're past the half hour mark, but uh, we keep going. Oh, I'm, I think I might be, um, basically every year in Ireland, there's a big event called the Ploughing Championships, which is, you know, every bit as exciting as you guys can imagine. <sighs> Farmers travel from all over the world to compete in the competition to see who can do the most ploughing. Um, so that was the premise, but now it's kind of a big old celebration of all, like, the agricultural industry and heritage and all that. So there's a load of tents set up for, like, companies. Um, it's a huge field and people walk on by. It's a big outing for secondary schools and farmers. And Yep. Anyway, WD-40 are setting up a tent there next year. And uh, for the entire three days, it looks like they're going to have yours truly doing some tool restorations live and in person. So, yeah, never thought, um, never thought I'd see the day. And we mightn't yet. It's a long way down the line. But it looks like that that might be happening. So there we go. That's me soft dropping it. Hey, Mark, how are you keeping? Foam stuffed wooden rifle case. Even still, you don't want to be pushing the envelope. I don't think, no, I'm sorry, lad. I don't think, uh, I don't think guns are my, uh, my area. Oh, the banter at the ploughing championships. I come from the countryside, and we used to, I used to take the bus from school. It was called the bog bus, because, you know, everyone would come out of it stinking of turf and cow shit. But um, for that week that the ploughing happened, the bus would be pretty much entirely empty because all the farmers used to go up with their fathers to the ploughing championships. Not doing a very good job keeping this thing square at all, lads. But uh, we're getting there. I'm just going to do this side. And then I'll probably end the live stream. Take off the hat. And put a bit more time and effort into this. Uh, Cronin said, uh, So sons are no good. How about sword sheets? Yeah, I think that could, be, that could be doable. I think I've gotten away with sharpening knives and stuff. So... Right, lads, I'm sweltering, so I think I'm going to wrap it up fairly soon. Thank you all for joining. Um, I'll answer one or two questions there, and then we'll call it a night. Favourite hand plane? Gotta go with whoever I put them. Stanley number five. Can't go wrong. It's wildly available, relatively cheap. It can last a lifetime if you get a good old vintage one. Is my father a far is my father a farmer? No. Uh, both my parents are accountants. If you have an exam in the morning, good luck to you. Up, oh, straight up at me. Um, straight up me, said, uh, my usual craft is leatherwork, but your videos have gotten me further interested in woodwork. Cheers and wish you luck. Uh, chat your first plane. Nice one. Well, um, yeah, I think leatherworking could be a cool one as well to get into down the line. They share a lot of tools. Chisels, right, maybe? Uh, I actually tried to buy a leather working kit off Amazon one time, but it uh, never arrived. But uh, I'm always seeing leather working tools show up at auto jumbles and stuff, so 
I might buy one, buy them next time I see them. Bit late to be making chairs, no such thing. How am I liking the curved plane? I love it. Stanley 115. Oh my God, with more donations. Maybe I'll never end this live stream. I'll be a millionaire by sunset, sunrise. Um, hope you have a great rest of your evening. Love your work. Well, thank you very much, Roland Salvar. I appreciate it dearly. What did I want to do with my career originally? I had no idea. I, um, I ended up studying commerce, so I suppose I wanted to be some sort of businessman. Uh, but no, that's kind of soulless and horrible. So hopefully now I can be a full-time woodman when I finish my degree in three years' time at this stage. But don't worry, I'll always be doing woodworking videos on the side. I have no interest in doing well in college, just scraping a pass so I have a degree, so employers, if I ever need an employer. I don't think I'll need an employer. I think I'll be able to go self-employed. Anyway, we have another donation. Couldn't miss me. Uh, Ralstain uh, said, Yo, I absolutely love your vids. Uh, you've even got me into woodworking. Brilliant. That's proper influencing for you. <laughs> right, I better end this before I bankrupt America. Um, so for watching, lads, and thank you very much for all the donations. It's dearly appreciated, and... Uh, Talk to you next week. Fingers crossed.